video, I thought, what better to do than take you through a summer stay in Perth. It is so hot, 39 degrees. <laughs> so there's no other option but going down to the beach. for 27 weeks in a day and next week we've got another appointment with the midwife but everything's well she's moving about kicks are getting stronger sometimes it even hurts a little bit I think yesterday I had like a little head poking out here that kind of was a bit you know hurt a little bit but apart from that I'm doing quite well and right now I am off to go to Ikea to get a bit of decoration sorted and I don't know, just have a little look around. I feel like I want to nest. <laughs> Mark's busy getting our bedroom sorted, so he's gutted the whole room. And we now need to get an aircon fixed in there and a couple of power points, and then we need to put in the floor and paint, put up the furniture, and then we're ready for a little baby to come. Alrighty, off to Ikea we go. I think we've got it now almost. We've got a bit of decoration going on. Got a nice little little rug down there with a colour and a little play, a toy box. And behind me here is a little measuring thingy. It goes up to 140 centimetres. And um, yeah, and I'm pretty happy. It looks very nice. Ah, oh, and we've got the moonlight. <laughs> Ah, so there you go, room's sort of done. I spoke to my parents, because as you know, they're, my whole family is up in Germany. And um, they've booked the flight now to come over to Australia. But it only will be in October. So baby's going to be born in April, beginning of April. And then they're going to give us a couple of months, more than a couple of months. And then, um, yeah, we've got time to get used to each other. We're going to have to be a parent and a mum and a dad and a couple <laughs> and then uh, my parents will come mid-October. It's very exciting. It's a bit sad as well because, you know, they're so far away and I'm sure they'd love to be here when she's born. And, but unfortunately, it's just so hard to do. Jeez, see, hormones. <laughs> anyway, enough, enough of being... Um, a bit emotional. <laughs> what I will do is I'm going down to Scarborough to the market stand there because I really wanted to go there for a long time and today is a very good day to do that. So I'll see you down there. Putting our life in boxes Erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to focus You're by yourself, I'm by myself Wish I could solve your problems You're stuck on my wall like neon paintings And I'm so tired of being honest To everyone but myself, I do it so well 
spot geez it was busy there those markets they're very very busy they start at five and they go to nine o'clock and they go from I think December all the way through to April every Thursday if you're interested in Scarborough but be aware there's hardly any parking it's really really hard to find a spot so you're better off parking somewhere at tricks and then just walk over it's been very hot during the day so now it's a bit cooler and um, that is it from us for today. <laughs> that was a summer stay in Perth and a bit of an update on how the pregnancy is going. So I hope you tune in next time, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel so we can grow together and leave us a comment. All right, see you later. Choo, bye bye. We gave it so many chances. So the signs we just kept dancing and the nights always